So who remembers back in 1937 the Grand Pavilion Dance Hall over the leisure centre site where it is now? Um, and what about 1949? There's a little fairground behind the Meridian Centre. And the Butlins chair a plane, the dive bomber, the boating lake, the paddle boats. Lived at a farm near Rimswell, someone did. We used to come shopping here. Stayed at my grandma's house. I remember the lighthouse beacon shining into bedroom every ten seconds. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Horrific winter, the snow was so deep I could not see over the top and we were blocked in at the farm. Do you know where Aldi is now? Well, back in 1959, I remember there was a market and we all used to come as a family to that market and have a look round all the stalls and have a bit of summit to eat. And on the car park, right down there to where the hut is now, that's where it went to. What about 62? There was a polio epidemic. Do you remember that? Having a sugar queue from the council at work. In 1970, we saved our pennies and half pennies to use at the amusements. I was only eight. We had a couple of pennies. It felt like we had a fortune. And we played on the beach. It was really close. We visited the market stores, the market we've just been talking about. It was so big, it took the whole day to get round. So we thought at that age. And we had a model village. What about that? You don't see them anymore. A model village. 1986, my great-grandma lived in Withensea, a bungalow right at the end at Seathorn, where the boat is half in the ground, you know the one I mean. Enjoyed going down the um, beach with the dog. We used to be like spotting, we used to like spotting the lighthouse and the beach on the way to Withensea so we could have a prize who spotted it first. We never won. Dad always knew where the bend was when he could see it first. I learnt to swim at the leisure centre. Fancy that, 1994. 1995, we had a lighthouse garden party. The first time I saw the lighthouse, um, and we had some fundraising and tombola, that's still going on, and everything looked huge. I was only four. 1996, 97, again, the market was still there. We used to um, visit there and get dodgy videos from the market stall holders. I was only 13. 1999, going to the pubs with older siblings and friends. If it was cold, we'd go to Teddy's and Eldin's club above the Meridian Centre, weather pending. Um, to depend so to which one we went to. It's where the boards are on the seafront. 2003, I was 12, being allowed out with my friends for the first time, completely free. I had my parents' permission to stay out as long as I wanted, got the older people to buy us some alcohol from the shop and then went to the fair and got absolutely done in. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> 2003, going to high school for the first time. We had a small group of 11 people in our primary school and then there was over 100 at our big scary school that I had to go to. They didn't prepare people then for getting ready for the big school. I was only 11, of course. 2003. 2004, I was house hunting um, and I was looking for a retirement home and I walked into the town on the promenade and was talking to people and that's what really um, decided because everyone was so friendly. In 2007 there was a flood. I came to the pavilion in the morning, it was still raining in the afternoon. The drains in the garden were blocked because the bins had blown over, paper blocked up the drains. We were in our drive filling wheelie bins with standing water. Fortunately, the water didn't come in, um, but in Kirkfield, a bungalow was flooded. In Valley Gardens, in Roos and Rimswell, there was one metre of water up the walls. I was fixed 56 then, in 2007. In t another one in 2007. I couldn't get home. Everywhere was blocked off because of that flood. Water gushing off the fields. I had to go back. Back to work, unfortunately, at the leisure centre. And that became a rescue centre. I only had a little Ford car then. We used to go to Teddy's for the bingo. We used to get our bingo cards. Lots of retired people come to live in with us, even West Yorkshire, because we all used to come on holiday when we were younger. In 2009, there was a carnival. Living in Withensea and seeing it was different from seeing it as a visitor. Seeing families and kids and parents all taking part, really amazing, really inspiring. Sometimes, you can, from the hut, you see maybe people aren't always at the best, but when you see all the families together, it was a really positive picture of Withensea. In 2009, I came back to Withensea and met my wife, Joan, who lived next door. I went round for pizza and never looked back. We got married in 2015. In 2013, I was 64, there was a royal visit, feeling very powerful and important. Met the Prince Charles and Duchess of Cornwall. We had protection officers and secret service, and it rained, by the way, and the ladies' choir and activities in the gardens. I was interviewed by a member of the Royal House Police. Prince Charles and the Duchess had to be rushed off due to Prince George being born that day. 2013, I was 66, shaking hands with Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall. Fantastic day, despite the rain. 
2015. Before I got the interview for my current job at the Leisure Centre, I had a tour around um, East Riding Leisure, Withensea, um, by the manager there. I had people saying, why do you want to work in Withensea? I had a visit myself, loved driving to Withensea, loved it. It made my mind up about the job. 2016. I was 33, we got the gas cut off, everywhere was cut off. Seeing all people coming together, managers coming together, using the leisure centre as an HQ for communication, looking after people in their homes, how a community came together, never had this anywhere before. And now, the carnival, my goodness, still a treat, kids, kids at the hut, selling drinks, interacting with people in the community. Kids made me feel really welcome, they're amazing. Awesome. That's cool. <laughs>